Jeopardy category for the three of you. Business. All right. Make your way to We'll be able to be back. And you can color me shocked that we got through all 30 clues in the second round thanks to Alex's diatribe about carrot beer. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. I'm a little dressed up tonight. This evening I went to see Eclipsed, which is nominated for Tony Award for Best Play this year, and one of my friends is in it, and it was excellent. If you're in New York, it's only open for two more weeks, so if you can get tickets, go for it. It's really moving. It's all about female uh, rebels <clears throat> and some of the pains that they go through during the Civil War in Liberia in the early part of the 21st century. It's really moving stuff that I didn't even know had happened, and it was all based on a true story. Uh, just some really bad stuff. But also a lot of moments of levity, which is perfect for a play like that. So, Kelly, at the top of the show, uh, Alex said, you guys you know what you need to do. And, uh, of course, I and I'm sure many of you said, yeah, wager bigger on Daily Doubles. Jeremy went ahead and did that, and it cost him because he wasn't really paying attention to that part where it both words had to have three vowels, and maybe he thought Skies had it, but uh, that cost him 10000 He'd be in the lead right now, <clears throat> but he's in second, and uh, Lincoln barely holding on. That was funny when Lincoln got to answer his own name. So, Jerry Noble's up, he's going to have 21-8, and uh, Kelly's got the wager 4600 She's wrong there, she's going to have 12 6 12 5, 9, 9. so you can see that both of them have to go all in. Uh, Lincoln at a minimum 5600 5601 uh, I hope we don't have to give out another gray wager. A lot of bad wagers lately, when we haven't had locked games anyway. Uh, let's see, Kelly really lit up that barbecue category. Of course, she is from the Plains, I think, right? Nebraska? I can't remember. Oklahoma? Somewhere in the breadbasket of America, so that was right up her alley. And one thing I liked is, a lot of times, as I pointed out before, you'll see players pick a clue and then look up and to the left, looking at the scoreboard, which I recommend players don't do until it's getting towards the end of Double Jeopardy, or when you have a pause in play and you need to calculate your wager for a daily double. Uh, but there was one clue, I think it was the third, after the second clue in that category, she called the clue and then looked almost directly at the camera, uh, looking at the monitor, because she knew it was going to be a video clue with the clue crew. So that was just very heads up play by her. <clears throat> and she's been impressive for the third night in a row. Uh, didn't like that Frontier... State capital clue? I had no idea how you would narrow that down. I thought it was Carson City, just because it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, where did I put the remote? Uh, okay. Oh, here it is. Put it on top of the books that are sitting right here. Ability of a big once again. I thought I was going to have to play this uh, silently or overdub. Here is your clue. This alliterative beverage chain says it gets its name from an African word meaning to celebrate. 30 seconds, good luck. What? African word? Jesus. Mellow yellow? No, it's not alliterative. It's I mean, it can't be right, but it's the only other thing I can come up with. Lincoln, you started writing almost immediately as I finished reading that clue. I bet that's good news for you. What did you put down? What is Jamba Juice? You are correct. Oh, wow. And your wager? 5600 There's that wager I thought we might see. 12601 Now, Jeremy appeared to be struggling with this. Am I right? Yeah, you weren't able to come up with anything, so you are going to lose whatever you wagered, and that is 7100 Looks like you're going to... Drop down to 3,800 and risk finishing in third place. It all depends on Kelly Bales. She's smiling. She had to wager today. 
She came up with the correct response, so she's going to remain champion. How much did she add? Eight thousand. Hello. And she goes. She goes big. Twenty-five thousand two hundred. Wow. Total now for three days is sixty-two thousand seven hundred dollars. She will enjoy the weekend. We hope you do also. Oh, look at that. I was not expecting that big of a wager. Uh, what does Jeremy have to wager? He has to wager, not to get to 12 6, he has to wager 1600. No, 1700. So if he gets 1700, which doesn't make sense, why would he wager that? Because Lincoln could pass him. Wager 1700, uh, and he hits it wrong, he's down to 9200, which is exactly what Kelly would have. If she had been wrong. Yeah, strange. I mean, it's not the worst wager in the world, because there's no way. There's no way that Jeremy's just going to wager 700. It doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm not going to give it a bad grade. Uh, <clears throat> it is a little risky, just in case Jeremy doesn't wager enough or does something silly. Actually, you know what? I can't see a situation where that would really come back to honor unless Lincoln wagered. 3,000 or 4,000? Ooh, that could be a dangerous spot. Uh, we'll leave it at that. I'll still give her the green. Hey, she's got the money. Good for her. Three days. And, uh, well, I wasn't close. She'll be back on Monday. And I hope you will be as well, right here. On the final wager.